Mr. Gray, Mr. Gray, Mr. Gray will see now, we'll see now. Mr. Gray, Mr. Gray, we'll see now. Mr. Gray will see now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this look over here, which is another kind of halo situation going on. You know how I love to use this technique. And today I use a bunch of grays, 50 shades of gray, and I use the collection from Makeup Forever that has been released for the movie. Now it took me a while. Um, whenever I do a halo type of look, I always kind of play with colors and see where it takes me. So this is what I came up with. I used most of the products from the collection, some products I didn't use, and I also, I'm going to switch up this lip because it's too mm, neutral for me. So I'm gonna switch it up during the tutorial. So if you are interested in learning how to complete this look, well, keep on watching, honey. Okay. Did I hear you say, okay? You need to repeat, okay? Okay. Your turn. Good girl. So the very first thing I'm doing is taking that gray color and I'm applying that onto the outer corners and inner corners without applying anything onto the center of the lid. And after with what's left on the brush, I'm going to run that into the crease just gently, nothing major, just, you know, dragging the product. And then I'm going to retake a little bit of gray and this time I'm going to add it into the crease slowly but surely. You wanna make sure you have a very nice blend of color. Right after, you're going to use that silver brown slash rosy color right into, uh, I would say like center of the lid without applying too much in the center. It's like a transition color between the gray and the light color we'll be applying right in the center. In the center, I'm going to use the lightest color from the quad, which is called pink ivory, which there's not a lot of pink in it, to be honest. I'm not too sure how Makeup Forever makes those, you know, names for their eyeshadows, but anyways. As you can see, I'm just blending the colors together. You want to have like a very nice gradient of color. Take your time. This look is all about reapplying and blending and reapplying. As you can see right now, I'm just once again blending that gray color. You might lose a little bit of intensity because there's so much blending going on, but just be patient and reapply when needed. Now onto the root of my lashes, I'm using the Artist Liner in M10, which is a matte black color. Don't go too heavily with this. You just want to, you know, make it seem like you have thicker lashes. And right after, you're going to take an angle brush. And I'm simply going to kind of diffuse that harsh line. I want it to be more smoky than sharp. And I'm also going to use the M100, which is a matte black eyeshadow. Now this is a must for this look because the gray wasn't dark enough. So I'm just applying that right on the artist liner and I'm slowly blending up. And as you can see, I'm mostly using that black eyeshadow onto the inner corners and outer corners and nothing in the center of the lid once again because it is kind of a halo effect. And once that I've laid down that matte black color, I'm going in with a bigger brush, which is gonna help me, you know, blend the color upwards more easily. And once again, slowly but surely, I'm reapplying a little bit of black, a little bit of gray, just keeping that really in the inner corners and outer corners only, my friend. Once that I'm satisfied with the darkness, I'm going to reapply that silver brown slash ME612 eyeshadow and that light color right in the center. Once again, you're losing a little bit of intensity, so you need to reapply color. As for the lower lash line, we're doing the exact same thing. So I'm retaking my artist liner, applying on the inner corners and outer corners. I'm also applying that onto my waterline. Once again, for like the five million time, I'm not applying anything into the center of the lid, lower lid that is, and um, waterline. Then I'm moving on with the 3C Aqua Lip. The reason why I'm applying a lip pencil is because it's close to that eyeshadow color and I also want the eyeshadow to grab onto something. And as you can see, it's really repetitive. I'm just taking that light color and applying it right in the center of my lower lid, girl. As for the rest of the face, the blush I'm taking, that silver brown color, I'm really surprised because there's a lot of pink in it, so I just used a very tiniest amount onto the cheeks. And after I'm taking a big 
fluffy brush to kind of blend everything together so it doesn't look too muddy. And as a highlight, I'm taking that very light color from the palette once again. And yes, I completely forgot to record my lash application portion of the video. I use a bunch of individual lashes onto the lower lash line except the center. And on the upper lash line, I use a bold spiky lashes. Moving on to the lipstick, I'm using N4, which is a pink beige lipstick from Makeup Forever once again. Sorry, this is Makeup Forever heavy, but it is their collection. After I'm moving on with the gloss, which is very, very shiny. I love it. It is D14, the shimmering Indian pink, and just applying that a lot because I love my gloss. And this completes the look. As you can see, I changed my lips because I wanted something a little bit less drastic. Um, the first lip combo in the intro was very neutral. Then I switched to something a little bit darker, like a berry bitten lip kind of color. And now I just switched to kind of a brownish nude, which I kind of love with these sultry, bold eyes. I think now I'm ready to go watch the movie. I haven't read the books. Everybody tells me read the books before you go watch the movie. I don't have a lot of time to read, but I think I'll have time to watch the movie because I mean, <sighs> there's a lot of beautiful people in that movie. So I mean, kind of, I'm kind of excited. You know, it's going to be a girl's night going to the movies and just drool on ourselves. Now, what I want to know is, are you going to watch the movie? Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? Are you going to wait until like it slows down in theaters? Because you know, girls are just going to be running all up and through. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Da. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.